So I'm starting this blog with a prequel to the trip to Europe uh, that I'll be taking this year uh, in that just two days before leaving for Budapest um, I spent five days in Los Angeles with the Modesto Junior College of Visual Arts Club and uh, this gave us the time to check out uh, a number of wonderful closer to home uh, art sites with 25 students, uh, three professors, and uh, to do that in a way that frankly is going to get my feet in great shape for traveling through Europe. So day one had us travel about eight hours on the bus and arrive at the Getty Pavilion. Um, and you can see the front courtyard here where students were allowed to um, get a good half day of a museum trip um, concentrating on antiquities, um, specifically a fantastic collection of Greek art. And uh, I'd just like to start this off by thanking uh, Dr. Richard Seros for including uh, myself and Professor Dukesher, um, who came along, had a great time, but weren't really involved in the planning. He did all the hard work. On our second day, we went to the uh, Huntington Library, which also has some wonderful gardens in them. And as you can see, this uh, gave, um, this is Richard over here, uh, this gave us a chance to talk with students at site, looking at artworks, and uh, to, of course, continue that conversation on afterward. And uh, that happened as we went to the uh, Hammer Museum, which uh, I don't have a lot of great photographs from, but in the upper left you can see a gingerbread house made out of real gingerbread. And in the lower right you can see that conversation going on afterwards. Um, you, I don't think you've been out dining until you've tried to get 25 students and three professors into the back room of uh, a restaurant on Venice Beach. It was really quite a lot of fun. So day three started off at uh, the UCLA Sculpture Garden and here you can see a, an official club meeting happening in this empty fountain um, and then it moved on to just one of the most fantastic spots in um, all of the US for art, um, the Getty Center. And here we have two students standing next to a Masaccio. I'm not sure where else we could do that except, of course, maybe Italy. Um, and to the right, you can see, again, that conversation about art, about life, about the future, whatever it is, um, continues and uh, happens well into the night um, here at a Venice Beach sunset. So day four saw us start off at the Disney S uh, Music Center. Um, and to the left, you can see the tour starting with the outside and these fantastic curvilinear forms of Frank Gehry's building. And then moving inside, where we weren't able to see the interior space, but we did get a really good look at uh, how he takes that, that sort of organic theme and uses it to work with and around the steel structure. You can see part of the steel structure here, built in part looking like a tree, and then some of the woodwork that covers some of that steel structure, again, following this motif of looking like a tree. It's a really amazing place. I hope to get to, uh, to see an event there, or at least hear an event there someday. So um, after going to the Disney Center, we went over to a hotel in Anaheim and you know visited some other site. It was a lot of fun, but nobody wants to hear about that on a blog about art. So on our fifth day, we um, got up still reasonably early and went out and saw the LA County Museum of Art. Um, this is a spot that uh, I visited many times, uh, but the last couple of times I've gone, the South and Southeast Asian collection has been closed. It was open this time, which was really fantastic. And so you can see Garuda here on the left in bronze, and uh, it was really quite a, a wonderful thing to see. To the right, you can see this happy group of individuals after five days and sore feet, ready to head home, 
sated with a great experience, hopefully, viewing art in person. Um, I want to thank each one of them for a wonderful time. This is a fantastic group of artists, a fantastic group of people. We've got an incredible amount of potential and talent in this group, just uh, really, really a fun group. But I want to thank one person in particular, which is uh, the Visual Arts Club president, Carolyn Moses, for all of the work that she did in organizing this trip along with Dr. Saros. So the kind of odd news of, of that is that, uh, you know, five days out, had a great time, but I've got a real bad tickle in my throat right now, and that's because I started off my European trip with a little bit of a throat issue. Um, but you'll have to wait to hear about that in uh, my next installment, and let, believe me, um, when you have spent the money to fly out and you have only so many days arranged, time waits for no man or his virus. Um, so th in my next uh, my next uh, podcast, I'm going to put out there um, the portion of the trip that's in Budapest. And then from there, uh, we travel to Vienna, which is where I'm recording this from. From there, we'll go to the Czech Republic, where we'll actually have the chance to go out to a, uh, another city, which is uh, Kutna Hora, and uh, we will visit uh, with some very dear friends, um, Dr. David Chapman and uh, Carolina Chapman, uh, excuse me, Dr. Carolina Chapman, um, Dr. Chapman's and Chapman, and uh, we'll actually get to attend their wedding. But you won't be seeing any pictures of that. You wouldn't be interested about that in a blog that's all about art. And then we'll mo move from there to finish off the trip in Berlin, a grand total of about 21 days. <laughs>